learning world. Join me as I show you my day-to-day -day routines as a federal concierge. Here's my office. Let's go in. Here's my beautiful office. Cute, ain't it? Okay, so let's get to work. The first thing I do before I even start my work off day is I turn on my computer. I sign up into sam.gov, put out my email, all that good stuff. Next thing I do is I go to my contact organizer, not for my Amazon, and I go over all of the solicitations that I submitted a proposal for. Yellow means submitted, blue means lost, red means got canceled, and the white means I just didn't have time and I gave up. So I'll go through these, contact the contract officer by email and ask them, has it been awarded yet? Sending out my pre written email and done. Just a little tip I actually like to write down the date that I emailed them and what was their response, just so I know what the status is on the proposal. Four, email. Now that the follow up's out the way, it's time to go look for some solicitation. Of course, we're gonna go to our favorite website, Sam.gov. And as you all know, I love to log in because then I can save it. Since I've already followed a couple of solicitations, I'm just gonna work on these for now. But hey, I'm not shady. I don't forget about Marketplace either because they have a lot of really good solicitations in there as well. Now that I'm done bidding, it's time for lunch. Whew, Lord, that was good. Okay, so now that I'm done with lunch, I like to check in on the contracts that I actually have won. So let me follow up with them to make sure everything is good to go. Now that I've done all of that, guess what? I either can search for some more solicitations to bid or I can end my work day. That's the beauty of being a federal concierge. You make your own time. So if you're ready to learn how to become a federal concierge, go click the link in my bio, go get the course, and you too can show me your day as a federal concierge.